literally strip myself of everything, even strip myself of my ego to then like do the spiritual work to figure out who the f I am. And once I did that, why would I want to be anyone else? Who am I? I'm a bad bitch. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to the video. This is Eddie, the African Red Pill. In this video, we're looking at this uh, fat guy. Apparently, he's spreading the message of body positivity for men and he's practically telling men to embrace their femininity. That it doesn't matter whether they are masculine or not, but they should embrace their femininity. That's what you are talking about. So men, should you be feminine? Let's get into the video. But my contribution for the culture came from me getting tired of the work that I was doing. And I didn't want to be comfortable anymore. I wanted to change the industry. One thing that always stuck with me working in the fashion industry is we're always selling a fantasy. I got to a point in my own journey as a person, I had to start asking those questions, well, whose fantasy are we selling? Once I started doing those ex exploratory questions, I started to think like, why aren't we seeing a more diverse group of men in media, especially in fashion? I decided to open a conversation and create that. If you embrace your true nature as a man, Imagine having that guy as a leader. That's somebody you look up to. I myself can picture myself looking up to a person like that, who's irresponsible. They're not. Just look at his weight. Look at how he keeps. I don't. I don't want to talk too much crap about him. But I wouldn't love to be somebody who follows that guy. Let's continue the video. The Everyman Project is a body positivity initiative that encourages body diversity in the fashion industry and actually all industries in the entertainment sector, as well as dispelling toxic masculinity and really redefining what it means to be a man. Of course, it plays for the same side or for the other side, whatever you call it. No wonder. Let me just go to the, uh, the type of people who are like in the same category of sexual you should be looking up to him. But it's an injustice for somebody like that to be telling all types of men to be embracing femininity and to be shitting on toxic masculinity. Dude, there's no such thing as toxic masculinity. There's only masculinity and femininity. Actually, a man who's got toxic traits means he embraces or has adopted feminine traits and if a man adopts feminine traits it becomes dangerous because it becomes emotional and if you can't control em your emotions as a man it becomes dangerous which leads to toxic masculinity yeah being a man means being strong being strong in that sense means being stoic means being emotionless and that's not real. We are all complex beings no matter where you are on the gender spectrum and to be forced into that way of living, like it's, it's destructive. And that's what we want to show with the Everyman Project that men can be vulnerable, that men can have feelings, that men can cry. You so it's okay to be weak and to be able to show that. I think there's like a, there's a real beauty in that and there's something that's real about that. And that's something that people need to see. Growing up as a child, in terms of seeing myself in media and visuals and ads, like I never did. And even, even being queer, like I felt like I had to fit a certain body type to be desirable or to be seen as attractive. And that's something that stuck with me all the way into like my late 20s and just not feeling not feeling like desirable honestly because you're we have these images that are projected upon us things that we're supposed to conform to like i really felt truly like an outcast and 
I know I'm not the only one. You know what I'm saying? And I wanted to be a, a voice for that. If no one else is doing it, I will use my voice and my skills as a fashion photographer and put out campaign worthy that is going to change thought. It will be a very good thing for you as a man if you practice stoicism. Because if you practice stoicism, it means you always become in every situation. No matter the situation, even if it's a dangerous situation or a good situation, if you're stoic about it, then that's positivity. If you're not stoic, then you'll be making very bad decisions as a man. And as a man, you're supposed to be a leader. People should a leader who people should be looking up to. And if people are looking up to you, you should lead by example, by being stoic, by not being too emotional. And by that it means you'll be making logical decisions, logical and sound decisions. That's what makes great men. I'm not saying a man is not supposed to be emotional, but it should be a balance. Of course, you're supposed to be too masculine more than you should be, too feminine. Just like a woman is an attractive if she's too masculine more than she's feminine. That's just the way nature works. Yeah, it's a good thing if you've got a target demographic for a message. But you can't expect all men generally to follow and hook up to your message, my guy. Because they're going against the grain. Men are not supposed to be the way you're describing. Of course, a man is not supposed to be a douchebag. Of which, in most cases, douchebags are insecure. And you can't lump all men to be like that just because you've met a few douchebags. Yeah. So, kudos to you if you've got a target market, you're targeting with your message and it helps somebody out there. But, you've got opposing views for men generally out there. Yeah. People seeing me, I hope it just encourages people to be as authentic as possible. That's, that's the best thing that I can say. It's just whatever authenticity means to them, be it. I had to learn who I was to be authentic. I had to literally, literally strip myself of everything, even strip myself of my ego to then like do the spiritual work to figure out who the f I am. And once I did that, why would I want to be anyone else? Who am I? I'm a bad bitch. <laughs> was cringy. <laughs> Anyways, back to the topic. Let me say this to men out there. That if you are if you are a man out there, that guy you're from watching is not what you should be. I say hit the gym, get in shape, make your money, learn game, become confident, and you'll be winning out there. If you follow that advice, <laughs> then I don't know. I don't even have words for you. Yeah. This is where I'm going to end this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you've got uh, opposing views about what I've said, you can comment. You can hit dislike if you want. If you enjoyed my video, you can hit like and comment to support my channel for the algorithm so that my channel gets to grow. Yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.